Well, 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 we are hot off the heels of an event that may have been more exciting than the Royal Rumble itself. The WrestleMania 40 kickoff press conference. Holy you-know-what. What did we just watch? I'm sitting here expecting podium, you know, maybe a little bit of shenanigans, but at the end of the day, some handshakes, some hugs, you know, Roman probably being the one ruffled off stage and probably rocking Cody buddy-buddy by the end of this thing. And, like, no matter the result, I mean... And what we got, <laughs> you know, it's just, you look at this last week and you see the chaos that has been social media and people talk about if it's a storyline, is it not a storyline, this, that, the other, I don't care. I don't care. Take me for the ride. Make me, make the line so blurred that I can't tell anymore. I want the unpredictability. We're still two months out from WrestleMania. I don't want to know what's going on. I want Triple H to blur the lines and feed misinformation and do this, that, and the third. Like, I'm about it. I'm a wrestling fan. I don't want to know what's going on. And after tonight, the only thing that I think, think is keyword that we can confirm is is Cody versus Roman, but at the same time, it's like, well, is there going to be more involved? Like, I just, this, this, this press conference was crazy. If you guys want my initial live reactions, I live streamed the entire thing. I'll probably clip some good stuff out from when Cody uh, chose Roman and make a uh, couple shorts of it. So stay tuned for that. This was freaking awesome, man. Let's just, let's just summarize everything that happened. And then we'll just talk about what could possibly be to come because there's still just as many questions than answers. Seth Rollins comes out there, world heavyweight champion. As I said on the live stream, if you were there, he's been getting a lot of slander, but you know what? Roman Reigns, that's great. All that stuff. That's my world champion. Put some respect on Seth Rollins' name. Talking about this, that, and the third. And then he's basically just like, we need to hear from Cody Rhodes. So he calls out Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns comes out instead. Pretty cool seeing Roman and uh, Rollins at odds. I like that fact. I, kn I know somebody on Twitter is probably like, there he goes, Barry and Seth again, but I'm not even getting into that conversation. Roman's out there and says, you know what? Cody's time's passed. He hesitated. I'm choosing my WrestleMania opponent. And Roman Reigns chooses to fight The Rock at WrestleMania 40. Now, one thing that I think we all felt coming into this press conference was one way or another, Roman versus Rock gonna be on the WrestleMania card. Rock Wrestling seemed all but confirmed. It was just what else was gonna take place was really the questions, at least in my eyes. So Roman announcing, or at least choosing, that he wants to fight The Rock before anything else kind of made the most sense to me regardless of what was gonna happen with Cody Rhodes. So Roman chooses The Rock. Rock comes out there, and you know, Thursday has been a very interesting day. Everyone has seen the clip from the Pat McAfee show where Rock was pretty much making fun of a lot of Cody fans and, you know, playing that middle ground. You know, I said on the live stream that maybe we're going to get more of a tweener Rock, uh, depending on what's going to happen at WrestleMania after this press conference. I mean, <laughs> you know, we'll just save it, but, like, nonetheless, Rock's out there calling, uh, calling out fans, calling out Cody crybabies, doing his shtick, this, that, and the other, and then starts hyping up this matchup with Roman Reigns. Rock puts the entire Anawaii Johnson family, whatever the hell, on the big screen to crickets. Like, people were going to care. Nobody cared. Nobody cared about the, seeing the family tree and why Rock and Roman is this big match. We all know, whether you want to admit it or not, Rock and Roman's a big match. Looking at the family tree isn't necessarily like, oh, so like, it, you know, no, no buzz on that. Rock says his final words, extends the hand, Roman shakes the hand and then pulls him in for a hug and we get like a quick like hug between family members and then they split apart which for a second I thought was weird but then I thought back to the Roman and Jay building up to their tribal combat match at SummerSlam and I know that might have been part of the tribal combat theme but I'm pretty sure they did like the handshake and hug when they signed the contract so I was like whatever family thing no music Cody Rhodes just storms out there immediately said this is bullshit and then starts going off for like two minutes straight on Roman, Rock, the whole family, why we should care, this, that, and the other. And Cody had a line where he said, uh, that's great, you know, you guys duke it out, whatever he said, I'm paraphrasing, to see who's going to be sitting at the head of the table, but why does it matter when neither of you have been cooking up anything for the last two years? Again, paraphrasing, but when Cody dropped that line, it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, what? I, and like, I said this during the live stream, but at some point, during Rock's promo, it, you could just tell, I was like, he said something about the Anawai family being like, 
whether you want to admit it or not, the family in wrestling, the most important one. A lot of paraphrasing here. Go watch it yourself if you didn't. And after he said that line, I was like, there's no way Cody just comes out here and just chooses Seth. Like, that makes no sense. So, Cody coming out and berating Roman and The Rock by default, since he's talking about the same family as The Rock mentioned, was crazy. Goes off for like two minutes, and then Cody says he's made a de made his decision, stands in front, looks at Seth a little bit, and then says, I will fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Big pop right here out of this chair in the chat as well during the live stream. Cody Rhodes versus Roman. Uh, we could, there might be the graphic on Twitter as I'm recording this video. Oh, I I'd say, I want to say like confirmed, but after we saw the aftermath, it's like, maybe there's going to be a change, but if you don't look at that and you just look at the words said and the, the logistics of everything, Cody versus Roman at WrestleMania. They literally had Roman and Rock on both sides of the Tron at one point and then changed it to Roman and Cody. So Roman and Cody on for WrestleMania 40, period, but maybe question mark. And then if this thing wasn't already hype after Cody Rhodes came out there passionate, and challenged Roman Reigns for WrestleMania. Roman's taking off his jacket. Looks like we're getting a little Roman and Cody face to face. Then The Rock steps in front of Roman Reigns. And The Rock's, you know, saying, you're talking about his ancestors, you're talking about my family, you're talking about my blood, you're talking about me. You're talking about talking to him, you guys know what I mean. And, you know, basically, you got a problem with him, and that, you have a problem with me. The Rock and Cody now face to face. And The Rock slaps Cody Rhodes in the face. And then Brouhaha breaks out. Rollins is sticking up for Cody, as he should in this moment, because Rollins and Cody, as we have seen, had their issues, but they are the, they are the, the workhorses of this company. You know, it's, it's storyline, but it's also true. They are the backbone of this company for the last two years. It's Seth and Cody. No doubt about it. You look at any house show live events over the last two years, especially since Roman stopped working them in, like, 2022... It's Seth and Cody uh, at the main event, at the, the match before intermission. It's That's how it is. So Rollins is sticking up for Cody. Triple H is out there. Nick Aldis is out there. Adam Pierce is out there. I'm sure there's a couple other staff members out there as well. And they're trying to de de just decrease the whole situation, get everything under control. They get Cody to the back. They Seth, as they're getting in the back, Seth is barking at Roman and Rock and, and saying, you can't just do whatever you want. And Rock's basically saying, we can do whatever the F we want. And it's just crazy. And then we cut back to the panel. We had CM Punk and Big E on the panel, which were dropping some great information. And then the Annie gets upped even more when we see Triple H with Jackie Redman backstage going for a little interview. He gets like five words out. And then we see Rock and Roman standing side by side coming behind Triple H, walking up, and then they stop, and Rock's like, you better fix this, it drops the F-bomb, says shit like three times, and then Triple H is barking at them too, like, not just like cowering down like a general manager, like, oh yeah, I'll fix it, like, no, he was like, Rock was like, you better fix this, or you're lucky we, we're, Roman said, you're lucky you have us, and Triple H was like, you're lucky you're here, <laughs> it was just crazy, man, it was just crazy, I did not think this press conference was gonna go off like it did, but my God, was it great. So now the question is, we have Cody and Roman, I think. What what the hell are we seeing after tonight? We I thought, I honestly thought, best case scenario coming out of this press conference was Rock and Roman on night one, Cody and Roman on night two. But after we saw what we saw tonight, are we even going to see Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania? Because I don't see Rock and Roman wrestling when they seemingly were just walking side by side like a duo and Rock, after that slap to Cody, I mean, all bets are off. I'm not saying he's not going to have his his cheers and supporters like Roman Reigns does in every town. But but, but Rock is like, Rock's bloodline now. Like, that you, you can call it a heel. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it Hollywood Rock, dickhead Rock. But like, we're, I, after what we saw, the closing moments of that press conference, Rock and Roman... It seems off the table, at least this year for me. We might get that. We've been getting rumors the last few days that Rock might be wrestling more than once, that we might be going long-term story with The Rock to WrestleMania to WrestleMania. 41 might be Rock and Roman. I don't know. After what we saw is a tag team match in place. Is Rock about to screw over Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania? Like, I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I'll say this, like, if you're looking at tonight's show, the most obvious one-two punch, is, and, you know, we talked about this the other day, because we talked about Roman wrestling two nights, and then, like, if people say, oh, what, Cody doesn't have to wrestle two nights? What if he beats Roman? He's just, then he's, like, 
he didn't work as hard or something like that to beat an already got uh, beat a guy who already wrestled the night before and i threw out well maybe cody's gonna wrestle on night one too looking at what we just saw could the night one main event to wrestlemania be cody rhodes teaming with seth rollins versus roman reigns and the rock and then on night two we get cody versus roman i mean somebody in my chat even said this and i don't think this happens but like what if we got rock and rollins who would have had that on their bingo card for 2024? I don't think that happens. If, if that tag match happens, I could see Seth defending the second night in his own storyline that he could have going on on Raw with Sammy and Drew or whoever. But man, I mean, <laughs> and especially like, my, my wheels are spinning as we record this video. Rock wrestling a tag at his first match at 51 years old for the first time since 2013 and starting off maybe a series of matches over the next year. Would make a lot of sense for his sake. Work the tag. Roman surprisingly being the one in this match who probably works more but doesn't really matter to the tag anyway. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Like, again, I'm thinking live on the spot here. This, Like I said at the top of this video, the unpredictability is the best part. The unpredictability is the best part. And you got to feel good. You got to feel good coming out of this press conference because no matter what... Cody's the Royal Rumble match winner, and he publicly stated he is choosing to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. So whether The Rock is involved somehow, whether we get a tag on night one, Cody has to wrestle Roman. And I could very much see, now that I'm thinking about this on the spot, one of two things happening. Getting that tag on night one, for, regardless of who would win, doesn't, I mean, matters but doesn't at the same time, whatever. Night two comes, and then one of two things happen, depending on the outcome of night one. If Cody and Seth win on night one, I could see Rock screwing over Cody Rhodes on night two against Roman Reigns. If uh, Cody and, or I should say, well, I guess if Cody and Seth win as well, this kind of works out. Cody and Seth could win because of dissension between Roman and Rock, and then Rock screws over Roman on night two. And then we start truly the long game to Roman versus Rock at 41. I don't know. I don't know. I know we're going to talk more about this on the channel. More ideas are going to be coming out. But, like, I'll tell you one thing. This is a fun freaking time to be watching wrestling. And we are in for the best WrestleMania, Road to WrestleMania, since 28. I know some people may say 30, but to me, that's just the Daniel Bryan stuff. 28, you were looking forward to multiple things on that card. We are in for one of the greatest storylines of all time, one of the greatest Road to WrestleManias of all time, and just simply the best Road to WrestleMania in over 10 years. And it, if this press conference didn't tell you that, I don't know what will. I will say this. I just checked Twitter as I am about to close out this video, and Triple H has tweeted out, I'll put it on the screen, the official poster for Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns for WrestleMania 40. So, Cody Rhodes, as he said, decision made. Cody gets the chance to finish his story when he challenges Roman Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania XL. <sighs> Listen, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. We will be on the channel, I am sure, more within the coming week alone just to talk about this. SmackDown is surely going to be interesting on Friday. Uh, I don't know how much they're going to touch on this situation, but all remains to be seen. We are in for a fun road to WrestleMania. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Be sure to go follow me across all social medias at Noah Nation Vlogs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.